Now, everyone is pretty much aware that Amber's team made several deadly mistakes during their closing arguments. But what even more people noticed is how graceful Depp's team was in delivering their rebuttal to Amber's team's statements. So, exactly how the Johnny's team emerge at the top of all this? You see, the thing about Johnny's team is that even though all of his lawyers are amazing at their job, he himself is actually telling the truth. And we know that from the piles of evidence that have been repeatedly introduced while the trial was ongoing. Now that the battle has reached the final point, Depp's lawyer Camille Vasquez came in with the kill shot. During her rebuttal to the statements made by Amber's lawyers, Vasquez managed to destroy every single point that was made by Amber's people. But if we're being honest, it wasn't a difficult task given that Amber's people kept showing recordings of Depp passed out as evidence that he assaulted her during their marriage. But that's by the way, let's get back to Vasquez. Starting with the claims against Johnny regarding the Waldman statement affecting Amber's career and ability to get jobs, Vasquez came with the facts, stating that all the professionals that were called to the stand during the course of the trial, including Walter Ameda, were unable to establish a causative connection between Waldman's statement and her losses. Vasquez was able to convince the jury that her claims are false given her history of lies and on that note, she moved on to enlighten the members of the jury on other forms of testimony misrepresentation they made during their time to speak, including that of Amber's old friend Rocky Pennington. As if that wasn't already more than enough, the lawyer went on to tell the jury all about Amber's false claims, mentioning that the actress just started to make up new accusations in this case after giving a different account in the UK case. She established that Amber has repeatedly lied in court about details as important as her first year married to Depp, which she initially described in the UK case as bliss, but now she claims it was filled with repeated assault. Finishing up her demolition of Amber's claims, the lawyer had this to say. I started this trial giving you an opening statement and I said to you that words matter. And this case is about Ms. Hurd's words, the words she published in an op-ed about Mr. Depp. Ms. Hurd and her attorneys have talked a lot about this, in this trial about the First Amendment. They've talked about the importance of free speech, and we agree. I'm a lawyer. Of course I agree with that. But the First Amendment doesn't protect lies that hurt and defame people. And there's a difference. Ms. Hurd has no right to tell the world that Mr. Depp physically or sexually assaulted her when that isn't true. That's not protected speech. Our U.S. Constitution doesn't protect that speech. And it is a core value of American society that you are innocent until proven guilty. Look how graceful she ended her argument. There's almost no chance that the jury can rule against that given that she did her job in the best possible way, as opposed to Amber's side. And soon enough, we'll find out just how effective her speech was, but until then, we wait. Did you also enjoy her destroying the opposition? Tell us what you noticed. 